welcome to this new episode of the YouTube program Games and Names. Our sport today is powerlifting, and our guest is Yusuf Shorty, powerlifting shooting club player and national champion. So, if you want to know more about her and about powerlifting, stay with us. Powerlifting is a strength sport that consists of three attempts at maximum weight on three lifts: squat, bench press, and deadlift. As in the sport of the Olympic weightlifting, it involves lifting weights in three attempts. Powerlifting has been a Paralympic sport, bench press only, since 1984. The roots of powerlifting are in traditions of strength training, stretching back as far as Greek and Roman times. The modern sport originated in the USA and the UK in the 1950s. The International Powerlifting Federation uses the following age categories Sub Junior, that is 18 years old and under, Junior, 19 to 23 years old, Open, 24 to 39 years old, Masters 1, 40 to 49 years old, Masters 2, 50 to 59 years old, Masters 3, 60 to 69 years old, and Masters 4, which is over 70 years. My name is Yusra Shuhdi, I'm 25 years old and I'm a fine artist uh, originally and I'm a power lifter at Shooting Club Egypt uh, and I've been playing since last year. I've played a lot of sports, um, first karate for seven years I have black belt and uh, then uh, equestrianism horse riding for three years and then after this uh, I had an injury in my knee so I had to play swimming for other three years and of course tennis and squash but oh, just for fitness not with national teams uh, and of course fitness uh, aerobics and um, other gym uh, or gymnastics um, just um, individually not with a team a lot of people have this wrong idea about powerlifting that it's full of injuries and so dangerous for women and for uh, joints and for the body it's all fake um, but it's all about physics. If you know how to do the movement with the physics correctly and with the right posture, then you have you you of course benefit from it, and it will uh, not just injure you; it will protect you from injury at other sports. It's so uh, magnificent for for strength, strength, and for power, and uh, you know emotionally it makes you stronger, and not just the muscles. It's about three lifts three main lifts, uh, the chest press and the squat and the deadlift. So uh, about the squats, uh, all you have to do is take the bar and squat with it. The maximum weight you can lift, okay? And the chest press you're laying on a bench and all you have to do is just push the weight away from your chest. And the deadlift, it's from the name dead, so it's on the ground. And you take it from the ground and the task is to lift it and be straight up. Uh, with the weights. Of course maximum weight, so basically it's a strength sport.
You, you take the the maximum uh, trial, the maximum weight you did in the trial, and then you uh, add to the the total score, the bench and the squat and the deadlift. You take the total score. Well, uh, it was coincidence, a pure coincidence, because I I used to hit the gym every day just to uh, you know to work out, um, but I I didn't realize that I was a strong lady <laughs> until I met Captain Mohammed and he told me why don't you try to come to this next competition so I went to the competition and I took I placed first in the national competition so like hey <laughs> why, why don't you be a powerlifter so I was like okay and then I, I had I had such p passion for it and I didn't even realize that I love the sport so much well, first competition was basically the best because I was uh, at a higher weight but the, the higher your weight is, the, the higher weight you can lift. So, uh, I did, uh, in the squat, I did 105 uh, kilos. And on the bench, I did 55 kilos. On the uh, deadlift, I did 115 kilos. That was a record, a PR for me. Uh, next competition, I dropped the weight uh, 10 kilos from 62 to 52. Uh, but I managed to lift uh, 95 on the squat and uh, 50 on the bench and the deadlift was 100 uh, that was the second one and the third one the, the most recent one I did uh, 105 on the squat and uh, 70 on the bench that was a record and um, what was the deadlift? Uh, 110 kilos well, you have to calculate how much you can lift and how much you can drop your weight. But it's, it's a very hard equation to drop your weight and, uh, and raise the, the weights you can lift at the same time. It, it, it's nearly impossible, but you have to do a very, very strict nutrition plan to do so. So uh, ahead, before, before the competition, you have to uh, make, make a decision which category you're going to be at and then train for it and drop the weight for it gradually, not suddenly, because if you drop the weight suddenly, you drop the, the weights you lift with it. So you have to do, do it gradually.
so to protect yourself from injuries you have to make sure that you're training well then you're training protected with the gears with the rest wraps with the knee wraps with with all the gears you can use at the at the workout when you're training and at the meet day or the competition day it's going to be different but it, it has to be on the plan of training not just the meet day and uh, as to the weight uh, it's, it's genetically like genetically I, I can be a small person and I can lift uh, a higher weight it's, it's genetic so you have to do you have to decide or you have to figure out which category genetically are you at and just improve that but you can't just uh, uh, do uh, changes to your genetics yeah. you have to work with it well as to my parents they were so like okay now power lifting that's a new thing and uh, you're gonna be injured you're gonna be like broken you're gonna break your leg you're gonna break your knee blah 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 and then I I told them okay I will not play powerlifting and I had to go work out on my own not telling them until I achieved my first competition first place then I went with the certificate to my parents and hey I had the certificate I had the first place so okay you can be a powerlifter now <laughs> first they criticized but then when when they know that uh, or when they realize that my body is being is getting stronger my body is getting different I'm, I'm at a better shape better form uh, better mind state better mental state so they get they I, I convinced them after this uh, that powerlifting is something good so being a pioneer yeah why not I just all I have to do is uh, have a dream and go for it and just um, do my best, do my best of best to achieve it and just, it, it's like a challenge to me and powerlifting is a challenge for oneself it's not, a, it's not like, a, a, you're competing with yourself not only with other other people in the competition you're competing with yourself, if, if you're alone in the weight category then you, you, you have to break your numbers, you have to break your records so it's a challenge at any way So, um, about physical changes and fears from girls to be deformed or whatever they think, uh, I'm a certified fitness trainer. Uh, I took some CFT courses and nutrition courses and I know what I'm talking about. So, uh, working on the muscle not only protects the body from getting injured or aging, 
it also uh, protects the body from storing fat. So it's a totally wrong idea that if you build a muscle, you're going to be deformed. No, it's the other way around. If you build a strong muscle the right way, then you're protecting yourself, you're protecting yourself from aging, you're protecting from se yourself from injury, you're protecting yourself from being uh, like yes. lazy, <laughs> I don't know. So building muscles was never a problem and it's never deforming. Um, many people now talk about squats and girls and <laughs> yeah, so girls need to squat to support the, the, the lower back and the, the knees because when a woman gets pregnant uh, uh, most of the weight comes here and, and is on the knee so if you don't have strong muscles on your leg and glutes then the knee gets affected after the age of 30 or something well I'm preparing for the national and international championship it's gonna be my first time to go on an international championship I'm hoping I can do the best I can to achieve this and uh, my parents are praying for me my my friends are supporting me and uh, of course it's a stress but the stress I'm benefit I'm, I'm taking the benefit from the stress to do the best I can in, in my workout so it's a target for me it's a target and I'm going to do it inshallah I'm going to do it uh, workout routine uh, I work I, I work out like five to six days uh, per week and uh, one session or one workout session would take from three to four hours because powerlifting needs uh, a long period of rest uh, between each set because you're using um, your maximum power and exclusive power so you have to rest well so you can do it again so that's why the the workout is, is a long is a long period um, I do usually do a bench and squat or bench and deadlift and then uh, I, I rest the, the legs and then go to chest again like you, you rest something and you work something then the next day you rest something and you work something and after this uh, comes the accessories the accessories like the triceps that pushes with, with the chest uh, or the biceps that pulls with the deadlift or the trapezes that supports every every movement in these uh, the calf muscles these are called accessories on the on the power lifting of course at the bodybuilding it's it's main things but uh, to us power lifters these are accessories so you have to take uh, one main muscle or one main lift and some accessories with it about my obligation about my career so my career is already fit already fitness training I'm a, a freelance fitness trainer I uh, had the CFT from ISSA California uh, at Goals Academy and uh, uh, SFN uh, from also Goals Academy that's the nutrition course so I'm a certified international fitness trainer and nutritionist I train people and I do diets and nutrition plans for them for whatever targets they have so it's supporting me in in my game because I'm, I'm always in the same field I'm always in uh, experiencing 
uh, different cases that would help me if, if a problem popped out, I could easily solve it. So it's, um, it's, it's not something that's contrary, no. Um, on the other side, it's, it's, it's the same field. Of course, I, I, I believe that every girl must hit the gym, not only to have good shape, just to, it, it affects her life, it affects her uh, emotions, it affects her thinking, it affects her mental state, physical state, uh, psychological state. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a release for the negative energy, so it will make everyone's lives better, way so much better. So why not? Yes, and, and go compete if you can lift, lift and compete. If you can do so, such nice shape, but you're, uh, you're afraid uh, you have such um, so, some stuff that are concerning you, then do whatever you like. Just go and achieve whatever you want to do, but have a goal, because most people don't have goals. So you must have a dream and go after it. So um, uh, I have this dream that I would do my best to uh, go at each competition I can go and achieve uh, the best I can, first places, medals and certificates, just to honor my captain, Captain Hamad Saeed, he's the one who supported me, he's the one who made me believe in myself, I was so weak before and he's the one who made me uh, believe in myself and have such dreams. My, my only hope is to honor that man. He's my father. <laughs> He's my godfather.